Okay, today we have a special visitor in the hangar, which is ATR-72. And that is one interesting feature about this airplane, because this airplane doesn't have APU, but instead it's using engine in uh, something what is called hotel mode. What does it mean? Uh, there is a free turbine which is going from the back all the way to the gearbox and on that gearbox you can find device which is somewhere up here. Uh, that device is called propeller brake or pro brake. Uh, the function is basically uh, self-explaining. It stops the movement of the gearbox and that way it will stop movement of the propeller. Which means that in that case the people here can move, let's say, freely without being afraid to be hit by some rotating fan like this one. Um, it is uh, hydraulically operated and uh, yeah, to, to show you the full function, we need to go into the cockpit. Okay, I'm uh, in the cockpit of this little plane and as you can see, there is not that much space. But back to the uh, device which we've been talking about, Pro Brake. Uh, it's controlled up here by this switch. As you can see, it's on. Uh, all what you need to do basically is just move switch from the on to off. Uh, there is also protection for this device. It calls a uh, cast lock. It's over here. Whenever you will bring this device all the way to on position, it will reduce movement of the thrust levers. That way you will prevent damaging of the probe brake. Because, of course, uh, the pro brake is able to handle only certain amount of torque. So, if you, uh, if you don't activate the uh, gas lock, you can uh, use uh, more power. And that means that you can even melt the pro brake, which nobody wants, of course. Uh, whenever you have a gas lock on, it will also lock the steering column in position. And as I said before, the, uh, the pro brake is uh, operated hydraulically from the blue system and both hydraulic systems are run by electric pumps. The controls are up here. And now they're gonna release pro brake. You can hear the hydraulic pump. and it's released and now you can rotate the propeller freely easy as that even though you have a pro brake on the right engine there is not that many reasons why should you go on the right side of the airplane because the only uh, only access points on the, this side of the airplane are refueling and refueling panel and only reason why to go to the front section is actually electrical connections here in the front you have a 115 volt ac plug and this is 28 volt dc plug and of course they are using this uh, to start the engines the 28 volt dc because of course starter use uh, 28 volt DC and uh, after right access door which are most of the time used for cargo and this is the half cargo as you can see it's really spacious um, unfortunately on this airplane we don't have it because this whole plane is a cargo plane but if we go on the other side, they will see all the important entries. On the left side of the airplane, you can find main access points, like this huge cargo doors, which are on this freight version quite huge. Normally they are, they are um, half of that size. 
and on this one you have additionally the extra door in the front and then you have a passenger door here in the back yeah that's the main entry for the passengers so as you can see there is no that much reasons to go on the right side of the airplane but if somebody will go there you are protected by pro brake another important information regarding a propeller airplane is that whenever the airplanes are parked the propeller need to be secured especially like you see it here against the fuselage this way you prevent windmilling but on ATR you need to secure just one side because on the other one propeller is already uh, stopped by pro brake which is just another small advantage okay now let's take a look how it looks in the practice as you can see engine one is already off so they had single engine taxi and at the moment they will set engine two in the hotel mode and whenever hotel mode is set ground handling agents can connect the GPU and whenever they will switch on the ground power unit pilots can switch off the engine to save the fuel of course as I said before engine in hotel mode provides on the ground uh, electricity to run the airplane systems and of course uh, bleed air for air conditions but since you want to reduce usage of the engine on the ground to minimum you can of course connect the airplane to the ground air condition system like you can see it now as you can see on each airplane you can find interesting features this one was about ATR 72 if you have any questions please write them down in the comments below and I'll try to search for the answer because I'm currently not working on this airplane so I don't have that many information about it but I'll try to find it all what's remaining is to say thank you for your time my name is Tomasz this was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you next one bye